All right, so there's been a lot of speculation in regards to this mask photo. Well, there's two, actually, the one on the left and the one on the right. Now, allegedly, the photo on the left was taken on Snapchat with a geolocation near 1122 King Road in Moscow around 3.30 a.m., on November 13th, 2022, the night of the crime. I just want to point out again, nothing I say in this video is meant to be accusatory. It's pretty much me just wanting to dive deeper into this for my own clarification. Now in this photo on the right, what is theorized is that Dylan Mortensen is on the left, and Quinn Kelly, her boyfriend, is on the right. So, I'm a big face person. And typically, what I notice first about people is their mouth. Quinn Kelly, which is, in fact, Dylan Mortensen's boyfriend, does not have lips that match up to the person in this black ski mask. Naturally, he saw people on social media start blaming him and saying, oh, this is Dylan and her boyfriend in the masks. So he responded, and I'm going to show you what he says. For one, that ain't me in the photo. Never even put on a ski mask. If you find a photo of me with a ski mask, please let me know. That is a girl in the black ski mask and Dylan is in the pink. So after that, someone responds to this tweet thread and says, Bro, that's a dude in the black balaclava. And Quinn types back, Yeah, I asked her and I was mistaken. One of her old friends is who he's implying is in the picture with her. So I do agree 100% that Dylan is actually in this photo. However, where me and Quinn disagree is that she's in the pink ski mask. I'm going to show you what I think and give you some pictures of why I think this. Now, one of the first things I notice about Dylan, again, face person, is her mouth. She has very big lips and a big wide smile. So I've just put a picture of this black ski mask beside of her. And now I'm going to do an overlay of this ski mask onto her face. And I have to say 100%, I do believe the eyes match up on her with the eyes you can see in the ski mask. The only part I'm not sold on is her mouth. When she purses her lips like this, they don't really lay flat in the picture of the person in the black ski mask. However, probably the most convincing aspect of this mouth is when she's doing, just like you see right here, you can see her front tooth on the left of in her picture. And you can also see the front tooth of the person in the ski mask. And here I'm just showing you a screenshot of when I'm overlaying this ski mask onto her face. Now we're going to move to the person who's in the pink ski mask and who I believe it possibly could be. Bethany. Her face, when I line it up, I literally don't even have to move it hardly. I don't have to reshape it or anything. The eyes are almost identical. And there's also another piece, the hair that's coming out from the person in the mask literally lays right on top of her hair like it's the same photograph. I've highlighted that little section of hair that I'm talking about 
when I say it lines up perfectly with her. And we're just going to put, again, this mask over her face to see how good it lines up. Bazinga. I mean, I'm sorry, but I feel like this is just perfection. Like down to the way her eyes shine, squint, everything. And let's not forget that Dylan is an awfully tall girl. So she would be a lot bigger than Bethany if they were sitting in a vehicle. And the reason I say vehicle while they're sitting in a vehicle is because I believe this photo is 100% taken in a car. This car, which I know is technically not a car, it's a Jeep, but I still believe they're in the back of this Jeep. Look above their heads. This is like verbatim the roll bar and top the inside of the top of a Jeep. Now I'm going to overlay this mask onto Bethany. And here's just the two of them overlaid together. I'm going to show you one more photo of them and then overlay that mask again. Now in regards to Dylan's boyfriend, Quinn, there are some things I've pointed out that he says and something I noticed that may not quite add up. So Quinn says he was nowhere near the house at the time of the crime and he's put out this Snapchat that has allegedly a geolocation showing he was in Boise on November 13th at 2.46 a.m. Then he does another um, tweet where he shows this image. I don't know what he's talking about before this. You're going to see a lot of that. Not important. What's important is what comes next. That's my car. People trying to tear my character down because of how I appear to them. He then goes on to explain, I go to school here at Boise State. I have been asked to go but never had time or money. To go up, I would need to via bus or plane because my car wouldn't make it. I don't have a job, just a full-time student, so I never had the money to buy a ticket up there. Now what he's referencing is going to Moscow, I guess to visit Dylan. He says that he's never been, even though he's been asked to go. And he hasn't gone because he doesn't have the money for a bus, whatever, and his car won't make it. That last statement, his car won't make it, that's where my problem comes in. He posted that this is his car. And it doesn't look old, it doesn't look run down, it doesn't look like it's, in theory, out of shape. So I really don't understand why it wouldn't make it five hours. Through researching, I've come to find out that this is a 2012 Chevy Malibu. And, I mean, I drive... A car older than that and it would make it five hours so my other issue with his statements there um, he's never been and his car wouldn't make it this image right here really bothers me this is from the body cam um, from the alcohol incident which we know occurred at like three o'clock in the morning one street over from the King Road house if you look right here, there is a front license plate on this car. The photo that he posted was his car, and he's scribbled out on it black so you can't see what the tag is. The ultimate point is, though, that there is a front tag on the bumper of this car. Now, moving over to the car in the video... You can tell that there's a front license plate on this car as well. And if we look at the color of that car, it seems to be not white. It's a little darker than white and maybe like the champagne color of Quinn's car. Now we all know 
95% of the information that you hear out there right now are rumors. They're not proven, whatever. But I will say something I've heard is that the 911 call came from one of the roommate's phones. The cops have, in fact, verified that information. What they haven't verified is the other half of what I've heard in regards to that. I've heard it was Quinn who actually was on the phone with 911. And I've, of course, seen photos now where allegedly Dylan has posted them and it was like at 6 o'clock in the morning. Now, I can't and won't claim those are real or not. But what I can say is if she was in fact awake at 6 o'clock, I'm not sure why she would be posting partying photos, doesn't matter. But if she did wake up at that time, right, and then she calls her boyfriend five hours from Boise, that's enough time to get there by 11 and then call the cops. And of course the other obvious would be if he was already there. And he called the cops. Now I'm giving y'all a bonus in this video. You're welcome. Now I'm going to move to Jack Dossier or whatever his name is. Kaylee's ex on again, off again boyfriend. I'm kind of curious about him possibly having a dark side. So we're going to be nosy. I found this post on his Twitter. Um... The account he was replying to has since been banned, but they're asking about, I think, taking photos, maybe not necessarily G-rated photos, and he replies, hit me up. And then, of course, his friends see the post and they comment back, basically saying 50 shades of no. Then here's this one, just... I don't know, maybe him and Kaylee were fighting or something. It says, if I had a dollar for every time she lied to me, and this guy's doing snow angels in a boatload of money. Now, I'm not a woman hater. Obviously, that would be kind of messed up because I am one. But I've also had a lot of women girlfriends, friends only. And I can tell you they'll lie faster than they'll talk straight. So I feel you. Jack. So just for fun, last thing, I'm going to put this ski mask over his face for you. And I got to say, it's not exactly unconvincing. I would say the main thing he has going for him is the mouth and the shape of the mouth. The eyes are just a little off to me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, you know what to do.